So, let's get to it. We've got a question from Blessing about chemical equilibrium. Blessing, how are you doing? Are we still wait? okay? We're waiting for Blessing. We're just having a technical issue. Um, but let me just run through the question so that when we get hold of him, you'll understand exactly what it's about. It's a question on the Haber process where we take some ammonia and it decomposes partially to form hydrogen and nitrogen. Now, in this a big container we are able to make ammonia and we also have present at the same time hydrogen and nitrogen but it does reach a chemical equilibrium the question that we're asked to do is to calculate the kc blessing how are you doing i'm fine Elisa. okay very good now listen what we need to do is to work out you were given that you had two moles of uh, ammonia to start with is that right yes and we were told that after equi at equilibrium so i'm just writing down exactly what we've been given at yes. equilibrium we had only one mole left yes. one mole of ammonia left yes. and we were told that the container the volume of the container was two decimeters cubed yes. was two decimeters cubed now uh, let's make it like that. Now, this sort of question is quite a standard question, but there is a part that most learners struggle on. So what I'm going to do with you this evening is not focus on the easy part, because the easy part and the part that you need to do right at the beginning, when you get a question like this, is write down the expression for Kc. Are you with me? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so how would you write down the expression for Kc for this chemical reaction? Um, it will be N2, concentration of N2. Terms. Okay, look at the reaction again. We started, okay, so you, that's right, concentration of N2. So that's one of the products, yes? Uh, concentration of H2 to the power 3. Okay, very good. So you see this part, which is the chemistry part, you've got right. So what is that divided by? The concentration? Uh, of NH3 squared. NH3 squared. Excellent. So this is, the, this is the chemistry part. That's the expression for KC. For writing down that, you're going to get a mark, at least one mark in your exam. What we've got to be able to do is to work out what the values are of um, the ammonia concentration, the nitrogen concentration, and the hydrogen concentration. And we do this by drawing up a table. And the critical step in the table is to recognize a ratio and proportion part of the question. So I'm going to just come back to this in a minute because I want to explain what we mean by ratio and proportion in terms of a chemical reaction. Okay. okay. I, I'm going to write down that same reaction. NH3 goes to and is in equilibrium with uh, N2 plus 3H2. And we put a 2 in front of there. So what this is telling me is that there's a ratio. If I have 2 moles of ammonia, then it will react to form 1 mole of nitrogen and mm -hmm. 3 moles of hydrogen. Always in that same ratio. 2 is to 1 is to 3. Are you with that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to make it a little bit more tricky. Well, not really tricky, but let's say... For the moment that if we only had one mole of nitrogen we did or of ammonia at least we didn't have two moles we happen to only have one mole can you see that the ratio between the one and the two this is actually just half can you see that that the two goes to one what are we doing we're halving it we're taking this and we're multiplying by a half or dividing by two blessing are you there Yes, I'm there. Okay, so what must I do if I want to know the ratio for the ammonia? If I've divided this one by two, what must I do to that one? You divide by two also. You must also divide it by two. Great. So I must divide that by two, and what is the answer I get? 0, 0,5. 0, 0,5. Excellent. And in the same way, I'm going to get an answer over here. What's this answer going to be? Uh, 3 divided by 2, which is 
Excellent. Can you see that these are in the same ratio? If, if I said the ratio was 2 is to 1 is to 3, it's the same as saying 1 is to a half is to 1 and a half. They're in exactly the same ratio. Okay. Are you with that? Yes, yes. Okay. So let's try another one just to make it a little bit more interesting. Let's say we have over here, we have 6. Okay. Blessing. Yeah. If I, my new calculation said, instead of two, I've got six, what did I do to the two to make it six? You multiply by three. Okay. I'm going to change my pen because I don't want to get confused between those two. And you're absolutely right. We multiplied by three. So what am I going to do to get my answer over here at the bottom? Okay, we seem to have a technical problem. We've lost Blessing there, which is a pity. Um, we'll try and get him back in a minute. Um, what we recognize is if we, we've had to multiply by 3 here, and this means that 1 times 3 is 3, and if we multiply by 3 there, we're going to get 9. I, I hope that you can see that these are in the same ratio, independent. They're in exactly the same ratio as what we've got above. Now, let's go back to our original question, which was on that different page, and let's extend that page to see if we can uh, get it sorted out. So, we know that's what we want to get. Let's write down the equation again, and we're going to write 2NH3 goes to form uh, N2 plus 3H2, and we were told when we do this sort of problem, that what we need to do is first of all write down the ratios of the reaction. 2, 1, and 3. Those are the ratios. Now the next thing that we've got to do is what we were given at the start. Now, at the start, we have, we were told we had 2 moles of ammonia. So I'm going to write down 2 moles there. And we're not told we've got nothing there, nothing there. The next step, we're going to leave a line because this is what is used up or what is produced. And this is what we've got at equilibrium. And we were told the number of moles at equilibrium is 1. So here we've got 1 mole at equilibrium. And if you now look at this line, which is in the middle, let me just change pen again so that you've got it clear. You should see that the difference between 2 and 1 is that I've subtracted minus 1 there. So now I've got to work in this same ratio. Minus 1 is the ratio I've got to work with. So I've got to make sure that the, whatever is in this line has to be in the same ratio as the top line over there. So this goes... Minus 1, what did I do to get from 2 to 1? I divided by 2. So over here, I must have produced 0, 0,5. And what have I produced over there? I've produced half of that amount, which is plus 1,5. So that's what's been produced. I now am able to add these two lines together. 2 minus 1 gives me 1. 0 plus 0, 0,5 gives me 0, 0,5. And 0 plus 1.5 gives me 1.5. So these are my number of moles at equilibrium. The final step is to find concentration at equilibrium. And that means I've got to divide by the volume. And in, in this case, it was a 2 decimeter container. So divide by 2, I'll get a half here. Divide by 2, get a quarter. Divide by 2, I'll get uh, a half, and uh, that's 0, 0,75. Um, I now substitute these values into the KC uh, 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 expression that I had over here, substitute them, do the maths, use a calculator, and I'll get the answer.